Back in its heyday, the Nissan Hardbody was the main bucky on the block. Nowadays though, it serves a different purpose and a different market. The same way that the Toyota Taz and the VW City Golf used to cater for the entry-level hatch market, the Hardbody, rebadged the NP300, now caters for the entry-level double cab segment. And despite facing some stiff opposition from the cheap Chinese land, the not-so-cheap Nissan is still selling strongly. Its reputation is a big factor here. Renowned for being tough, robust and proven to be able to handle the worst Africa can throw in its way, Nissan still sells around 300 double cab units every month. As a tow vehicle though, the combination of the detuned 2.5 litre Navara engine, a long-legged 5-speed gearbox and an outdated cabin did not impress our judges. And at the price, there is a lot more modern options to consider too. We didn't expect to be much from and we didn't get much from. It's not a vehicle that you want to use for towing. There's very, very little power, excess power. Very, very plain vehicle inside. Not as flash and sparkling as the others. Some of the cars, the bling bling, is just, to me just a little bit too much I don't like. Uh, very, very old technology. Um, not one of my favorites currently. It's really showing its age. Like it, it really struggled. It doesn't have enough power and torque. Uh, you have to work it hard. I wouldn't want to drive that over long distances towing a caravan. It gets tiring. So it's worthwhile buying because it's a cheaper type of vehicle. Uh, and it's an older model as well, but, but yes, I think it's money, worth, money worthwhile. And in spite of uh, the lower power, it is a very reliable car and should make a very good buy actually.